What's happening guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have a shoe review of the Hoka Carbon X2. So this has been a shoe that I have been training in and we have gotten past our 50 mile threshold. So I've gotten a lot of long runs. I've gotten some shorter runs, some threshold, some track workouts. I've gotten a mixed array of different types of workouts in these shoes. So we're gonna go through the review. So we're gonna get right into the shoe. Let's talk about the midsole first. A 39 millimeter stack height with a five millimeter drop. It has a CM EVA in the midsole. So it's a compression molded EVA as well as a carbon plate in the midsole. If you guys have ever used Hoka's in the past, you guys probably know they are known for their thick, thick midsole. It almost gives you that feeling like you're walking on clouds even as you just have the shoe on. And as well as with the stack height, if you're taller already, this shoe's probably gonna give you a couple more inches as you guys are just wearing them. Next, we're gonna talk about the upper material. There's a single layer mesh and compared to the Hoka Carbon X from last year, it is much more breathable, just the material in general. As you're wearing the shoe, you can actually feel some air pockets and some air getting into your guys' foot so that it doesn't get overheated. If you see the heel of the shoe, you're gonna see how wide it goes from the back end of the shoe, but it screams out comfort. Especially if you're a heel striker, you really might like the fact that you have that extra cushion in the back end of the shoe. Now let's talk about the outsole, okay? So the very bottom of the shoe, I must say the grip is solid when you're on the track or on the road. And obviously with this being a road shoe, that makes a ton of sense. You know, I, I went on a couple of runs where it was either rainy or it had just rained and the road was a little bit more slick. And I think during those runs, when I was making any sharp turns, it was a little bit more challenging to get grip on the surfaces. But I think in general, Hoka shoes are kind of known to get a lot of wear and tear on the outsole. So I would recommend if you're using this for the road or on the track, you guys were gonna love this shoe. Obviously, this is not meant to be a trail shoe or to be used on grass or any of those things. So if you're getting this shoe, you probably know, hey, I'm using it for the track. I'm using it for the road. And that's the purpose. The weight of the shoe comes in at 8.5 ounces for a men's size nine. Obviously the weight of the shoe will change based on the size of your foot. Next, we're gonna talk about the fit and comfort of the Carbon X2. In my opinion, I felt like the toe box was a little bit wide. So I got this shoe true to size. I normally wear an 11 in almost every single pair of shoes I wear, whether it's running shoes, training shoes, cleats. I felt like the toe box in the Carbon X2 was a little bit roomy. So when I was going on my runs, especially on my speed days, I felt like my foot was moving around a little bit. So either going half a size down or maybe wearing two pairs of socks could have alleviated some of that issue. Um, but I will say, when I was going on any of my tempo runs or more controlled runs, I didn't really have that much of an issue, but anytime I was trying to kick it in gear and you know, obviously go a little bit faster than normal, I felt like my foot was moving around a little bit, but that could just be me. So if you do get this shoe, make sure you guys try it out for yourself. I've gotten up to 100 miles in the Carbon X2. In terms of durability, I think this shoe will give you guys 350 miles or more. Um, so make sure wherever you guys are tracking your guys' miles in your shoes, whether it's through Strava or the Nike Run Club, make sure you guys are tracking your miles so you guys don't overuse this shoe. Next, we're gonna talk about some pros and cons that I felt about this shoe. Let's go through the pros first. Obviously, this is a carbon plated running shoe, right? Nowadays, everyone is in competition with the next percents of who will have the next best running shoe. And I think Hoka did a really good job with the Carbon X2s. I really like this shoe, especially when you're going on your longer controlled runs. I think that the shoe itself is a super comfortable ride. And in that midsole, it gives you so much cushion that there's a lot of responsiveness as you're on the run in these shoes. If you're a heel striker, especially with the big heel stack height, I think this shoe will be really, really beneficial as you're gonna get a little bit more propulsion as you strike with the back heel of your foot. Personally for me, I don't tend to heel strike when I run, but for most people, as you go on longer runs, as you get more fatigued, it is common that your heel starts to land first just as the body is getting more tired. So if you are a heel striker or you know that you do heel strike later down in your longer runs, this shoe might be perfect for you as you will get a little bit extra bounce in that heel. Let's go through some of the cons now. And I think the two that stood out to me the most was the wide toe box as well as this shoe just being a little bit heavier versus some of the other carbon fiber plated running shoes out there. Personally for me, I thought the toe box was a little bit wide, especially as I was going on my faster tempos. And I think the shoe itself, if you're using this as a trainer for your next half marathon or full marathon, I think it's a great idea. If you're looking for the lightest carbon plated running shoe, this isn't gonna be the one, but it is a great option to utilize for your training. The Hoka Carbon X2 gets priced in at $180, which I would say is a mid-tier price when it comes to carbon plated shoes. So you can't really go wrong. If you find this shoe at a discount, I think it's a steal if you can get it you know, for 10, 15, 20% off. Even if you can't, 
for 180 bucks, if you're using this as a trainer, you will definitely be able to get miles out of this shoe. Next, we're gonna talk about how am I gonna use this shoe as well as who is this shoe best for? Personally, for me, I'm gonna use this shoe as a race trainer. So anything for half marathons, full marathons, and even for any ultra marathons that are on the road. I think this shoe's gonna be best for anyone that's looking to try out their first pair of carbon fiber plated running shoes, as well as a shoe that you can use throughout your day-to-day -day training. So that wraps up the video. If you guys liked the video or got any value out of it, make sure you guys smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe and hit that bell icon so you guys get notified when I push out my next video. Last thing, make sure you guys comment down below what is your favorite carbon plated running shoe or what running shoe I should review next. But until next time, I'll see you in the next one.